Sheesh. Russell Westbrook made history, right? I mean, this year he's averaging 22 points, 11.5 rebounds per game, and 11.7 assists per game while Riv goes and uses the bathroom, I assume. So he is a triple-double king now because he passed Oscar Robertson, and he now has 182 career triple-doubles. So, of course, we don't have to talk about the triple-doubles too much, but I think this poses a good question. And that question is, do you think Russell Westbrook is now a top five point guard of all in time? NBA history? Yes, I think so. Because, I mean, no one else. Oh, we talked about this before where we talked about how he's done it so much with his triple doubles that it's become like, oh, routine. Like, that's what won him one of his MVPs, like his MVP when he won mm-hmm. it, was because he averaged a triple double. But now he's done it so many times that people are like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. You know, he does it all the time. So not, but, like, it's difficult. And I remember they were talking about it on um, ESPN that if it was easy, everybody would do it. Everybody. But it's not that easy. That's why he's one of the few people who's reached that level of, like, that many triple doubles. So I think, especially with those stats averaging that much over the course of a season, I think, yeah, definitely. So let's take uh, triple doubles out of the equation, right? Um, you can't take that out of the equation. That's no, 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 what makes no, no, him Russell no, no, Westbrook. No, 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 no. Let, let's, let's take the triple doubles out of the equation. Right, so he's go got ahead. the record, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like the thing that people love to say about Russell Westbrook is mm. that he does not win, right? And if you look at the teammates that this dude has had, I, I have to completely agree, right? Because James Harden flopped that over. CB3 was the, the much better player for James Harden with the Rockets. Kevin Durant. Flop that over. And I'm not going to say that's necessarily his fault. It was, what, like his fourth year in the league or something like that when they went to the finals. And your boy, James Harden, was out there partying in Miami Beach and went living La Vida Loca, and that's kind of a big reason why they didn't play he that. Choked. He's, oh, yeah. He choked. Nah, he choked. He definitely choked. Um, so Russell Westbrook definitely has not won in his career. Mm. And I feel like in terms of a point guard, what you are supposed to do is lead your team to victory. So you want to say top five? Of course, I'm going to have to put John Stockton in there. Of course, I'm going to have to put Magic Johnson in there in terms of just winning, period. Um have to put Steph Curry in there as well. Um, and honestly, Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook are are pretty close in terms mm-hmm. of that. Yes, I said it. Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook are pretty close in terms of that. But what about Jason Kidd? Nah. What the? Nah, I'm not. I'm, I'm putting Chris Paul and, and Russell Westbrook over Jason Kidd. Okay. And Steve, Steve Nash. Nash. And Steve oh, Nash. Mm. And Steve Nash is, is my boy as well. So I the mean, top point guards that I have right now, this is not in order, but of course, Jason Kidd. <laughs> Stockton, CP3, Oscar Robertson. Is Oscar a point guard or a shooting guard? No, he's a point guard. He's point a guard? point guard. Yeah. His Oscar, rookie year, he averaged 30, 10, and 10. But Oscar, I think yeah. he has, if you round it up, he has like five, six averages of triple doubles. And Magic, also Steph, Isaiah Thomas. Can't Isaiah. forget about him. Steve Nash and Walt Clyde Frazier. Walt Did you really put him up there? Yeah. No, so <laughs> for me, it's like, okay, if we're talking about top five, Magic – and Steph for two. Yeah. Then three, it's like the big O. Then who would be four? Maybe. You could throw there. IT a stock there. I'm not going to lie. I'm putting Stockton on there. Yeah. IT has the championships, so that's that that, that right gives now, him. But John Stockton, career-wise, assist numbers, steals numbers. I mean, it's, it's not for Mike. Like, Mike is the is the killer of all these teams in the 90s that doesn't get these teams these championships. But John Stockton was is easily a top four, five point guard. It makes yeah. his teams Right now, so ESPN much better. has Steph I've, Curry as four, and that was when he had one championship. Steph is in there. Yeah. Steph is in the top I, I five. I get that, but the thing with me is that maybe Stockton's legacy is, is better than Westbrook's. That's even debatable. But he's, is he a better player? No. Is John Stockton a better so, player than Westbrook? So what's the so – are, are we talking about – he's a better player Are we talking about talent-wise? Just, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to talk. Talent-wise. You got to let me talk. Go ahead. <laughs> We're really <laughs> – okay. Let's just, let's, just dumb, let's just dumb it down real quick. You know, let me first give uh, Westbrook his little flowers. You know, great player, triple double, <laughs> hallelujah. You you broke the record, awesome, incredible. You're going down into the Hall of Fame. You're one of the ten greatest point guards ever in life. Now let's get nitty. Let's get to the nitty, nitty and gritty. gritty. <laughs> John Stockton's a better playmaker. Mm. He's a better elevator of teams. <laughs> mm. He's a better elevator of How teams. How is he a better elevator of teams? What team was John Stockton ever the best player on? You don't that have to be the matter. best. You don't have to be the best player. I think it does matter to an I extent. So. I, we've never seen John. How many Stockton. teams was Russell Westbrook the best player on? Except for those like three of them. Okay, when, after see, Kevin Durant. Okay, see and Wizards. Now, I think. you did you really just say the Wizards? <laughs> the Wizards. The Wizards? I think he is better than Bradley Beal. Though. That's my opinion. Okay, he but affects winning more than Bradley Beal. No, no. I'll say this. I'll say this. I get what you're saying. You have a point. 100%. Stockton's also a better defender by far. Okay. I'm right. saying this 100% though. Sure. This is the thing though. 
John Stockton, I get it. Elevator teams, but he also had a guy who scored the second most points in NBA history in Carl Malone. Sure. You know, Westbrook, and I think having a power forward like that fits Stockton's game better. Pick and roll. Because Ke- Russell Westbrook never had a guy like that. You know, he had KD, but he had to defer to KD. Stockton ran the show. You know what I'm saying? So if Westbrook had a, a great power forward who could he could be his pick and roll partner all the time, you would see a different Westbrook. I mean, for one, it's like I just don't th- – you're saying Stockton's a great defender. I'm not denying that. Obviously, he has his steals and all that stuff. I don't think he can hold Russell Westbrook. But that – Russell he, Westbrook wait, is wait, far wait, superior wait, 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 wait. Like, I think if, okay. who's the better player? Like, if we're talking one, about – No, no, Russell's but you winning. can't You can't <laughs> say he's not a good defender because he can't check Westbrook. Yeah. It's about what – I don't think it's close. I think he would look like – he would look like Steph Curry if he did that. But you think Westbrook can hold Stockton? Yes. Stockton's yes. IQ is far greater – then Westbrook's like, do you, do you like, what's wrong with y'all? Like, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So are we talking, because you're talking about a one-on-one matchup, basically. Russell Westbrook, far stronger, bigger, I just think, faster. Okay, let's He's going to beat John Stockton I, this one-on-one. This is just a right? hypothetical. I think okay. he, yeah. I, oh, I'm no, talk, he'll beat, Westbrook easily, will beat him yeah. one-on-one. I'm easily. talking about that, too. I think he will beat him one-on-one. But team but elevator. Also, if you put Westbrook on those, those jazz? jazz teams no. and replace Stockton. Uh-uh. <laughs> you, think Westbrook, you think Westbrook and Malone could play together? Mm. I don't, I don't too, see why not. Why can't highs, they? A, bo- a, a, a ball dominant guard who's very yeah. just pound, pound, yeah. pound, pound, who takes a lot Scores. of bad shots and has low <laughs> IQ can play with Carl Malone. I think he could. Uh, his oh, IQ is not bad. Uh, he, t- he takes he takes a lot of the shooters. His, his he takes a lot, a lot of shots. Okay, now who are they? Who are, no, wait, wait, who are they beating? They're not beating the Bulls. Not beating the Jordan. I mean, no one's wait. They weren't. I don't even think they would beat Shaq and Kobe. No, that's still different. I, I don't think they'll be Shaq and Kobe. Stockton and Malone, young Kobe, Kobe though. though. Yeah, I don't think they'll be Shaq and Kobe. Stockton and Malone will beat that team either. Let though. me just say this. Let me just say this. They this beat them to go to the finals. Young, but young it was Kobe. Young it was Kobe. Young Kobe. It was, young it was Shaq. really young Kobe. Though. It was All Star Kobe. He was an All Star, but it was like his second or third year. Yeah, and Shaq. And, and Shaq Nick, it was Nick. Shaq it was Shaq. It was. It was after Orlando. But let's not act like the Jazz for a long time were known as playoff chokers. That is true. In that era. It was Jordan. <laughs> no, no, but I'm talking about just in the West. They wouldn't get out the first round. Like, they were known as yeah, chokers yeah. in the playoffs. I just want to say, I just, I just say something. Like, you're talking, you're comparing. Listen, Westbrook, it's it's already hard in general to compare guards now to guard in the past. I think they're, they're two completely, you know, John Stockton is more of in the Chris Paul, Steve Nash, Jason Kidd category, and Westbrook's more of in the Dame Lillard Steph Curry, you know, scoring guards. I yeah. think in terms of scoring the basketball, you know, you, obviously we're going to look at Westbrook and say, yeah, he's a better scorer. You know, he averaged 25 points a game, led the league in scoring. But I think when people look back at John Stockton, people forget that this man was really an amazing, like on offense, he was one of the best offensive players in the league. And you love to bring up offense in terms of not just scoring. You like to put up playmaking, how, much, how many points you generate in terms of your assist. John Stockton was one of the best at doing that in I the guess. league for a yeah. long time. No doubt about it, but also the, the point guard role in that era was way different than now. But that's my thing. So, so how he, can we- he played within the, the construction of what a point guard was. If Westbrook is there, you look at him averaging 11 assists now. Is it crazy that in, back then he can average 16 and 14? I don't think it, it is. If he's a pure point guard and just does that. I don't know. Okay, so, 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 let's, just so say, let's just say let's just say we put Stockton in there. We have Magic, Steph, Big O, and then Stockton. And Stockton. Now we Who's have five? Jason IT. Kidd, CP3, IT, Isaiah IT. Thomas. Are you putting him over IT Westbrook? has to be five. I would say IT has to be higher, yeah. He Definitely. was the catalyst for a, a time in Detroit history yeah. where they won two championships. He may not have got both finals MVPs, but going up against Chicago, he's the only person that beat Larry Bird and Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan. Can he's Russell the only Westbrook person. not do that? You put him in there. Can he beat mm. Magic in them boys? And yes. Larry Burton. No. Isaiah Magic Thomas Johnson. shot 31% f- from the three for his that's, career. That's what we're doing. I see. Wasn't so that's what we're doing. No, I'm he saying, like, great, as, no, I'm great saying great as, a shooter, as a shooter, as a shooter, Westbrook and him are, are similar. Oh, I did. I was never. Yeah, yeah that was. You know, I, 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 so I'm saying, when you talk about Isaiah Thomas' game, what does he do, do better than Impact, Westbrook? It's kind of like. Wise. It's intangible. It's all intangible. He was a 20 and 10. He was a 20 and 10 guy every night. Russ is a triple double guy. Yeah, every night. and he yeah. and he won more games. He won more games, and he was a catalyst also to get had the winning a great rings. Team, though, you're saying, had, a, you're, saying, team, you're saying he was a triple double guy. Westbrook would not be a triple double guy in the '80s and the '90s at all. No, no, Why not? I disagree. You sure? I because that was an actual big man era that they went down and got rebounds and they played a lot of zone. He wasn't getting ten rebounds a game. Disagree. All right. 
wasn't at all. And uh, he he was, 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 we're, putting, wait, wait, we're putting him on Detroit. He wasn't getting 10 over Dennis Rodman, Bill Lambeer, no, 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 Mark mm-hmm. Aguirre. I, I didn't so that's Detroit. already all for Just, just in, in, general, the 80s, in the 80s. In general. In general. Put, put him on what team? Put him on. Put him on. Any, put him on any team. He's not, getting, he's not getting ten rebounds, bro. Most of his I can rebounds see what are, are from long threes. They weren't even <laughs> shooting those in the eighties and the nineties. Come on, Russell Let's Westbrook. Let's not is, over exaggerate the, the triple double. Now he's like, just a player that that gets into the paint. That's all he does. So offensively, if I you're mean, gonna, okay, all right, keep going. If that okay, if that's the game that you're playing, right? Okay, if they're not shooting threes like that, because Isaiah Thomas did not shoot the three pointer at all, well, at all, and he also had Joe Dumars, he had Dennis Rodman, he had like you said, yeah. Bill Ambeer. And Rick Mahorn inside. So easily, Russ Westbrook is getting you probably 15, 16 assists a game, just like you said, because he's going to dish the ball up to those guys inside. You can't beat him off the dribble. He's going to get past you. He's probably going to use that bread and butter. He's going to get past game. you, and then what? Use the either, either because shoot. In, 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 what in, do you in, mean, in, what? Because in a game where there's, there's, there's a lot more spacing and free roaming, and there's no real rim protection on a nightly basis, where in the 80s and the 90s, there was a lot of that and a lot mm-hmm. of zone so in I, the paint. How many points is he realistically going to so get? So IT gave you 20, 20 and 10 in that era. Can Russell Westbrook not do the same thing with his skill set? I think so, but are they going to win? That's where then that's where the yes. intangibles is coming. Are they going to win? Are so they going to win? The are they going to win the championship? What's the difference? Just personality, just, just intangibles, out, everything. Flat out leadership, intangibles. Leadership is a big thing. That's why what we put say. Chris Paul over Westbrook. Yeah. You put Chris Paul over Westbrook? Yeah. Oh, that's why most the, the, the general public I, put, I Chris put Chris Paul over Westbrook. Westbrook. Leadership is a big thing at, in a, especially in that's the most important position in the game. Okay, so talent wise, you know what? I'm gonna put Russell Westbrook in there as a top five point guard because oh, I think talent wise, talent wise, pure pure <laughs> talent is less with the guys to play the game of basketball. But it's just not about I'm putting talent, Russell Westbrook though. in there. It's yeah. about everything. I, I, didn't, I didn't say that. That's the, that's why I okay, said. And that's okay. what I started the, co- the conversation up okay. with. Okay, you have to put John Stockton. You have to put Magic Johnson. So we're putting him over put, Jason Kidd. Yes, the guy who led the, the the Nets two finals and they weren't that good. That's what we're doing. We're putting him over Jason Kidd. See, that's where it gets tough for me because yeah, I don't know. That's Kidd, a real Kidd elevator so right there. Jason so Kidd's a real elevator right there. Like they, yeah. he was a floor sealer, and like like so he raised Gary the Payton? floor. Where's Gary Payton? Elevates I think he the, is elevates the Gary Sonics Payton. to yeah, I think to a finals. Gary okay, so winning as a point guard elevate. Where's Steve Nash? I would elevate the Suns to MVPs. Elevate the Suns to a couple of West Coast finals. I think Jason Kidd and Nash have a very strong case against Russell Westbrook, like a very strong case. So the difference between Russell Westbrook and these players, because like I said, you match him up talent wise, he's getting to the rim, he's going to dunk over you. He, he's I think if you, you can match argue him up, that he's a better if facilitator. If you match him up talent wise, I think only thing he beats him in clear cut is scoring. Because I think that's him. I think that's what it required out of him. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like I think that's what like in terms of scoring, he outclasses probably all of them. But I think in terms of actual duties as a point guard, I think he's a little bit under them. In that stand, in terms of leadership, intangibles, and playmaking, as that point guard, I think running the show. I think Westbrook. And I'm not saying he can't run the show. I think yeah. he can run the show. But in terms of, I know his numbers look like he's one of the elites of the elites. But I'm talking about in terms of like really like studying the game and seeing the game before seeing plays before it even happens. I don't think you can put him in that conversation with Jason Kidd, Magic, John Stockton, even Steve Nash. Like I think those are guys who really, in terms of looking at the game and, and Chris seeing the Paul. Game, and Chris Paul, in yeah, terms of seeing the game four or five plays before it even happened, I think those are guys that are up there with like LeBron. Like those are guys yeah. who really study yeah, and look at the game from yeah. a different different perspective. I agree. So I, that's why it's like it, it like and then of course with Jason Kidd, Stockton. Defense, you know, those were guys that were elite yeah. defensively on a nightly basis. I think Westbrook, he has the ability to be an elite defender. He just doesn't do it every night. That comes with the scoring, you know. He has to pace himself. So it's like, no, I definitely see what you're saying. It's so. it's different, like it's. But Westbrook has the career where he can put up with any one of them except Easily. obviously Magic and Curry, <laughs> obviously. And the big uh, O, I think. In a big O, but I think the big O is him. In some way, yeah. In like, our I think generation, that, yeah, I think that's our generation's yeah. him. No, but big O won championships. Yeah, yeah, Kareem. See that? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, Kareem. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 Kareem. Oh, yeah, Kareem. Let's look at KD, man. Uh, Come on, okay. KD ain't the top scorer. A young it's a top five score ever. Well, uh, Kareem was the best in their era. Yeah, that's fair. That's, that's like that's he didn't like make the playoffs as an MVP though. Yeah, exactly. LeBron would never. That's that's too many personalities in one room. If they do, they win a championship. Easily. I, I, I would have Easily. if I if I had a list. I, like I have a list, and I I would have worse forget behind. I think he's behind Chris Paul. I think he's behind Magic, he's behind Stockton, he's behind Curry, he's behind IT, he's behind Kitty, he's behind Nash. But I think he's right behind Nash. Like, I think a couple more years is going to put him over Nash. But then Jason Kidd is the the heart. Because, like, with Jason Kidd is just, like, elevating. Like, if you look at that Nets team, they weren't that good. Mm -hmm. Like, elevating them not only to the playoffs, but to the finals Mm -hmm. 
was just like a ridiculous feat. And even then with Dallas being still a good player mm -hmm. where he helped them win a championship and inevitably got that chip, I think that was special in itself. I don't know what he's going to have to do to get over that hump. But then the other guys, this is like Stockton's the only guy in our top five with no ring. And it's just because he was so dominant for so long mm -hmm. being the same player. And he went and he won. every night with magic. Still and, yeah, and he was still, he was still getting to WCFs. And he like let's yeah, Carl Malone was his guy, but like I don't think Carl Malone would be him without Stockton and vice versa. I don't think John mm -hmm. Stockton would be him without Carl Malone. But I think they were so perfect together that they just elevated one each elevated each other's games. Even at 36, 37 years old, he was getting to the WCF outplaying Shaq and Kobe, beating Hakeem, David Robinson. Like he was beating these guys, Gary Payne and them boys, like he was beating them. So it's just it's hard for me to leave Stockton out of my top five and put Westbrook in. But Westbrook is my eighth point guard ever.